Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela. I am a fitness professional and a curly hair enthusiast and I use this channel to teach you how to keep your curls in shape. So don't forget to join the Fit Curls family officially by clicking that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell next to it so that you don't miss a single video that comes out. Now today we are talking one of the most vital steps to stretching your wash days beyond day two the refresh. These are my five super simple steps to refreshing your curly hair for consistent results every single time. I'm going to show you how I use those five steps on my hair to give you these absolutely beautiful day three results that to me might actually be better than how my hair turned out on wash day. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's talk refreshing. Seven fifty-nine a.m. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. False. Fake news. Full disclosure, I am filming this on election day, so I really hope you got out, used your right to vote if you are a U.S. citizen and voted in this incredibly pivotal election. I know I did because I woke up at 5.30 to do it. Using a silk or satin bonnet like this one here, I will link the pack of bonnets that I use at the moment in the description box below along with every product that I use today, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. So let's take this off and then let's go through some steps. Here is the situation straight out of the bonnet. And step number one is settle. Let your hair settle down. How it looks one second after you take the bonnet off is not necessarily how it's gonna look after a couple of minutes back in nature. So give it a few, see how it settles, and then assess the situation from there. A few minutes later. Now that my hair has had a couple of minutes to settle down, I can really assess what the heck is going on here and what I might need to touch up. What I diagnose in this stage is gonna inform what I need to fix as I'm refreshing. So let's take a look. Now on this side, things are looking pretty good. Still got a good amount of structure and moisture. My hair feels good. It doesn't feel dried out, nor does it feel overly soft. Everything over here feels pretty balanced, but there are a couple of wonky curls. So we'll address that in a bit. Now this side, <laughs> this side for some reason is my more porous side. So this one tends to fall apart a little bit more easily feel like I need a little more structure and a little more hold on this. So after step number one, settle, we're moving on to step number two, steam. This little buddy is my Con Air portable clothes steamer. And it's gonna work beautifully for my hair. Definitely if you use a steamer of any kind, you want to fill it up with distilled water. Reason being, there's minerals in our tap water, pretty much anywhere you go. Using distilled water removes those minerals. So not only is it better for the shelf life of the steamer, but it's also gonna be better for your hair because it's not going to cause excess buildup from the minerals in the water. So for this particular baby, all I have to do is press a button, turn it on and wait for it to heat up. And then that's when the magic happens. Once Steam starts coming out of this sucker, we go to work. I'm gonna keep it a safe distance away from my hair and just kind of let the humidity, let a little bit of extra moisture penetrate the cuticle without actually getting it wet. Also, I find the bubbling sound of this weirdly soothing. I love using steam to refresh my curls and I actually personally prefer it to doing a full damp refresh. I find I get far more frizz and less control overall if I just dampen all of my hair, but the steam helps me not only to avoid the damaging effects of getting my hair wet over and over again, which can lead to high girl fatigue, but it also helps to just barely soften up and rehydrate those curls enough that we can reshape them and bring back some spring and shine. Also, just for safety's sake, remember to turn the steamer off when you're done with it. Sometimes steaming might actually be 
all you need to do in order to refresh. There are days when just letting it settle is all I need to do to refresh. So after you steam, give your hair another second to settle. And unless you see any pieces that are really kind of egregiously wonky or need some extra TLC, step away from the products and meet me back at step five. For now though, because this is day three and I can tell that there are some bits that really do need a little bit of extra help, I am moving on to step three, style. Once the hair has been steamed, it's at a really good point to have a little bit of extra product added to it in order to kind of refresh it based on what your hair needs. As I mentioned before, what I'm seeing is a need for structure and hold. For that reason, I am going in with one of my favorites and one of the products that I used in my last wash day, which I also recommend doing, the Wee Dad Vital Curl Define and Shine Styling Gel Cream. I've used this in dry product refreshes before. I love to use it after I apply steam just to kind of seal some goodness in, add a little bit of extra structure, and make sure that I get the hold that I need for the next two to three days if I'm lucky. All I'm going to do is take a little bit of this that might have been too much, but we'll find out. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of water from a continuous spray bottle. I'm emulsifying the gel with the water, which is gonna make it give better results. It's gonna activate it all the way. So now that I have done that, I'm just gonna kinda see which way individual pieces wanna be twisted. I'm gonna cover individual curl clumps. Now as you work here, the product will kind of dry on your hands. So if you feel that happening, just rehydrate it with a little bit of extra water from your spray bottle. Now I find if there are any stringy pieces, I like to go in with the Be Hairful brush and just kind of detangle and reshape that clump. As you guys know by now, I tend to choose the Denman D3 brush for my wet styling to create all of those beautiful clumps and ringlets in the first place, but I've found that the Be Hairful is my choice for refreshing because the super flexible bristles really help to protect my hair while they're reshaping those damp and dry clumps. For more on my comparison between these two brushes and their separate uses, check out my Battle of the Brushes video, which I'll post up above here. A couple light scrunches and I'm good to go. Now from the looks of things, I'm actually pretty happy at the moment with how some of these wonkier curl clumps came back together as soon as I added some product. In case that doesn't happen though, there is a method I like to use called pin curling, which I actually featured in my post-workout refresh video from way back in the day. And by that, I mean about four months ago. Oh, longer than four months ago. Where have I been? What's happening? What time is it? What day is it? What year is it? Ah! Because I don't feel like I actually need to do a whole lot else to this style, we are moving on to step number four, set. Wet hair and wet curls are more malleable, which is why moisture in the form of steam or the occasional actual spritz of water on a particularly unruly section of your hair while you're refreshing is going to allow you to really reshape that curl clump and give you more consistent results overall for days three and beyond. However, we also want to make sure that the curls don't stay that malleable forever. So that's why we need to set the style. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. First, you can just let your hair air dry. If you've got time, you don't want to be super hands on. If you're hesitant to use heat on your hair, air drying is a totally fine way to set your style. For me personally, if you couldn't tell from that peak at the bottom of the screen here, I almost always choose to diffuse. Now, as I'm diffusing, I'm going to be using the warm setting on this hair dryer and I'm going to be doing this at low speed using a technique that I have showed you guys in my diffusing video, which I have linked above here, called pixie diffusing. I will be back to show you the results and to guide you through step five. One minute, 37 seconds later. Quick interruption to my diffusing process. I do want to show you how I diffuse a pin curl. One of my underneath pieces on this side can only be kindly described as hella wonky. I basically just rolled it around my finger and I pinned it in place with one of these silver blow dry clips that I have here. Take my diffuser and I'm going to put it right over top of it, squishing it as little as possible, just nice and gentle. And then I'm going to turn on the airflow. <laughs> This is a lot better than it was. Now to finish up here, 
I'm gonna pixie diffuse it again in this natural form. And just like that, it has been dewonkified. You're welcome, America. Okay, my hair is now completely dry. All I have to do is step five, seal. All I'm gonna do is take a small amount of serum. This in particular is the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil. It is not CGM approved. There's a huge amount of silicones in here, but as I have high porosity hair, which I probably mentioned like six times in this video already, as well as about a bazillion more on my channel in general, silicones can really help to seal the cuticle of my hair and prevent all of this hard one moisture and protein and definition and structure that I have in my curls from escaping. Serums also help to tame down any residual frizz that you may have from any step in the refreshing process or just from the wear and tear of daily life on your hair. In my book, step five, the sealing step is absolutely vital to the success and longevity of a wash day and particularly a refresh. So what I'm gonna do is take a small pump of this. That was not a small pump. I can't, I can't pump like a human today. And I'm just gonna emulsify it in between my hands, give it a coat and scrunch out whatever little crunch there is here from refreshing with a gel product. One of my favorite things to do is just kind of praying hands to serum over my curls. It really helps to pull some of that crunch out. Now, if the products you already use to refresh have a substantial amount of oils in them, you can skip this step. The occlusive ingredients in those styling products you use should do a good enough job of sealing that you don't have to use a serum on top. Once you've scrunched out the crunch, it's time to shake and fluff out those roots to take advantage of that day three volume. And that's it. We are officially done. Five super simple steps later, and I have gone from hair that was just kind of meh to absolutely poppin curls. If you try this method of refreshing and it works for you, I want you to find me on Instagram at the fit curls and tag me along with the hashtag myfitcurls. I cannot wait to see all of your absolutely fantastic results. So there you have it, my five simple steps for refreshing day three and beyond curls. What did you guys think? Drop a comment below letting me know any of your thoughts, opinions, and impressions of this video, as well as any questions that you may have for me. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more tips and tricks videos like this, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up. It helps to boost the performance of the video, boost the channel overall, and really gives me an idea of what kind of videos you guys want to see on this channel. If you haven't joined the Fit Curls family already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video, and watch some more videos while you're here. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching the Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye.